Example 7. For the section shown, assume uniform flow in each of the portion of the channel and the total depths are 0.9 meter, 3.6 meters, and 1.2 meters from left to right. Compute the flow rate if the slope of the channel bed is 0 0.0018, which is also the slope of the uh, energy grade line because we have uh, uniform flow. And therefore, it is also the slope of the hydraulic grade line. The roughness coefficient at the left portion is equal to the roughness coefficient of the rightmost section 0 0.06 and roughness coefficient for the middle or mean channel is point, mean uh, sorry main channel or middle channel this is supposed to be the main channel these are the side channels and I'll just call this mean or middle channel middle channel this is the left middle and this is the right channel rightmost channel so the depth at the left is 0 0.9 at the main channel 3.6 or middle channel and at the rightmost channel 1.2 meters so q is q left plus q middle plus q right channel and our formula for Q in terms of area and perimeter, this is the original area to the 5 thirds slope to the 1 half over N, perimeter to the 2 thirds. From area over N, hydraulic radius to the 2 thirds, S to the 1 half. So that we don't need to compute for hydraulic radius anymore. So the area at the left is 36 times 0.9. 32.4 square meters. The wetted perimeter of the left section is 36 plus 0.9 only. This is not treated as wetted perimeter. There's no contact with the with the surface. So perimeter is only 36 plus 0.9. So it is 36.9 meters. For the middle channel, the area is 15 times 3.6. And it is 54 square meters. And for the perimeter, it is 15 plus this length. This length is 3.6 minus 0.9, so 2.7. Plus this length here is 3.6 minus 1.2, 2.4. So the wetted perimeter for the middle channel is 15 plus 2.7 plus 2.4. So 20.1 meters. Then for the right channel, the area is 75 times 1.2, 90 square meters, and the wetted perimeter is 75 plus 1.2 only. So 76.2. Substitute into our formula, Q equals Q at the left, 32.4 raised to 5 thirds, then 0 0.0018 to the 1 half over N 0 0.06 for the left channel times perimeter 36.9 to the two-thirds for the middle channel 54 times uh, 54 to the five-thirds 0 0.0018 to the one-half over n 0 0.03 for the middle channel then wetted perimeter 20.1 to the two-thirds plus right channel uh, 90 to the 5 thirds times quantity 0 0.0018 to the 1 half over 0 0.06 for the right channel and then perimeter 76.2 to the 2 thirds. So computing for each channel 21.01 plus 147.58 plus 71.11. So the discharge total is 293.7 uh, cubic meter per second. Then for the second question, Q is same, Q left, Q middle, QR, but this time N is common to all uh, portion of the channel. So area 32.4 to the 5 thirds, 0 0.0018 to the 1 half, 0 0.05, 36.9 to the 2 thirds plus uh, 
54 to the 5 thirds quantity 0 0.0018 to the 1 half over 0 0.05 times 20.1 to the 2 thirds plus 90 to the 5 thirds times quantity 0 0.0018 to the 1 half over 0 0.05 times 76.2 to the 2 thirds. So Q is 25.21 plus 88.55 plus 85.33. So the total Q is 199.1 cubic meter per second.